I made already a couple of videos about HDR gaming on the consoles. But what about the PC? How is HDHE working on the PC? Or is the better question, is it actually working? Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armag for All. And yes, question today is HGHE and PC, how is it working? So but let's start with the basics. So if you like to get a little bit more information on HGHE, then just Google HGHE and you will end up with a couple of explanations. Um, to be very honest, there's not much information out there. Uh, because it is a very brand new technology, okay, even now. And, oh, and by the way, it's really great when you Google and one of your video is ending up on the main screen. This is really, really great. But the uh, actually website, what we're looking for is this here, www.hghg.org. So that's the official website from HGHG. And uh, there are a couple of interesting uh, information and, and also a couple of PDF documents which I would actually really recommend to read because then you get an idea uh, of what a, the grader of HGHG actually yeah, expecting or what they like to, to deliver with HGHG, okay? Um, and to make it very clear, a better HDR picture, okay? Because uh, they showed it very clearly. Here uh, you can't see anything in the background because it's over brightened. With HGHG you can see actually that there's a corner, which of course gives you an advantage then in the game. So anyway, I would really um, yeah, recommend to check this website, uh, website out. There is a lot of information, okay, not that much information, but enough information to understand actually what's going on with HGHG. So let's continue with the basics a little bit to understand what we need to get HGHG working. And of course we need a HGHG compatible display like the LG OLED or any other TV which supports HGHG. And of course we need a console which is also supporting HGHG. And very important, the game needs to support HGHG and we're always talking about needs to support HGHG. This is actually not correct because the only thing what we actually do with HGHG is telling the um, TV and in my case again LG ZX that um, in, in case of or we are not using dynamic tone mapping, we are using HGHG which is a complete different um, yeah, behavior from uh, the display then. It will hard clip at the maximum luminance, okay? So it will go uh, up the luminance and then it will just hard clip. So there will, there is no way that uh, the uh, display or whatever will try to display any information. Okay, let's say like this. So, and that's why it is a little bit wrong when we actually talking about the game needs to support HGHG because this is, in my opinion, not true. The game needs to support the internal calibration from the console because. Um, Still, the game doesn't know what, what to do. Uh, what we are doing with our uh, calibration menu, and I will show you this in a, in a second, we are going to tell the PlayStation or the Xbox, this is my maximum luminance, this is my maximum or the lowest uh, black level and so on. And then the game takes this information and produces it on the, on the screen. But because um, we like to have this in HGHG, of course, we need to set the TV in HGHG and do the calibration with HGHG turned on. Okay, so here we are with our HDR calibration menu from the Xbox Series X. And to make it very clear, if we're talking about a game which is supporting the internal calibration menu from a console, it is mandatory that you set up this in the correct way. So in my case, I like to use HGHG. That's why you have to use it, or sorry, choose it before you start calibration. And then you just need to follow um, yeah, the instruction on the screen. And uh, in this case, uh, we have to, we don't need to see, or we shouldn't see any pattern anymore, which is this way, and then you're good to go. Again, it is mandatory for games like Outriders that you set up this menu in the right way. Even you're using dynamic tone mapping, because otherwise you will end up with a complete wrong HDR. So, what did we learn so far? The game needs to support the internal HDR calibration menu from the console or the PC. And we're talking about the PC in maybe 30 seconds. Um, again, I think it is wrong to say the game needs to support HGHG because HGHG is a function from the TV. It has nothing to do with the, with the game. 
Okay, so we are choosing HTAG, HDR option on our TV and then we're starting the calibration on our consoles. So that means the game needs to support the internal calibration menu from a console, not HTAG, okay, because also you can do the calibration with dy dynamic tone mapping. But in cases like Outriders, it is, again, it is mandatory how you set the black level, how you set the correct uh, white maximum level and so on because otherwise you will end up with the wrong HDR picture. This, regardless if you use HGLG or dynamic tone mapping in the calibration menu, okay? So again, game does not support HGLG or dynamic tone mapping. It will support HDR and hopefully the internal calibration menu. So, but now let's talk about the PC. And uh, we learned that we need a game which is supporting the stuff and we need actually a calibration menu on the console or on the PC. So let's have a look about the calibration options on the PC and to be very honest, there is nothing. There is absolutely nothing. All what we have is we have a switch and I know that you people may be starting with oh, there is uh, Windows HD color settings well, uh, and uh, there is uh, this one, HDR, SDR, brightness balance, but this has nothing to do with HGHG or uh, for the game, because this is really just the balance between a SDR picture um, displayed on a HDR screen or in the HDR mode, okay? So this is not changing the HDR brightness in a game at all. And believe me, I tried this many, many times. This slider is just really changing the SDR brightness. So if you have like the desktop at the moment, this is not HDR. This is still a SDR, a picture which is displayed now in HDR. That's the slider for, okay? And that's how you can change the uh, brightness. As soon as you start a HDR compatible game, this slider has no impact at all. So and now my question, if we don't have a similar calibration menu like on the consoles on the PC. How can HGLG, I'm starting again with HGLG, but how, how can actually a game that supports HGLG, I have to say it like this unfortunately, how can a game work with the PC? Like Outriders, how can Outriders work actually in the best way, like on the consoles on the PC? And to be very honest, in my opinion, when you think about all this stuff, it can't. Because otherwise, we, why, why we need a calibration menu in the consoles if it is the same outcome? Okay, before we moving on to the comparison test between Xbox and the PC version from Outriders, I made sure that we have no profile loaded from any standard monitor or whatsoever. But of course, there is a, a profile in the background loaded because otherwise there will be no colors or whatsoever. But there is no additional color uh, or profile loaded and all what I can say is um, there is not really anything I would actually like to load because this yeah I, I have actually no idea what this all is and it doesn't sound right to me but the main thing I think the important thing is that there is no profile at the moment used and also I checked of course my Nvidia settings if there is any um, yeah, adjustment in terms of HDR whatsoever there is nothing, nothing what we can use. So the video settings is really just basic settings like uh, brightness and whatsoever. So this is useless. And also what we have here, of course, I can show you this calibrate display, but this is really just for SDR content. And it will actually tell you this. If you now continue, it will create an SDR picture or SDR um, yeah, uh, what a profile and it will not fit your HDR calibration or HDR output at the moment. So we don't do this, okay? We just leave this. So at the moment, there's nothing additional uh, yeah, activated on my PC which can change actually the picture. Okay, and here we are with the comparison between the Xbox version and the PC version. And I made sure that all the options or picture settings in-game or on the LGCX are exactly the same, okay? So the only difference what I have at the moment, and I can't resolve this is, the Xbox is outputting in YCPCR422 and the PC is actually outputting in RGB uh, 10 bit, um, which uh, can give us or can give the PC version a slightly advantage over the Xbox version. But to be honest, 
uh, I doubt that we can see any difference, okay? So, but that is the only difference in terms of uh, settings what I found, okay? But I found something very, very interesting because, well, not because, um, it is just like it is. The PC version is a little bit brighter than the Xbox version. So, let's have a look here. Well, not, again, it's not brighter in terms of brighter, but the HDR effects are brighter than on the Xbox. And uh, I'm very sure I can explain why. So when we have here a look on the vehicle where the sun is reflecting on this part, whatever this is, and we're changing this to the Xbox version, it is very clear for me, I'm not sure about your screen at the moment with my crappy camera, but this is not as bright as on the PC version, not at all. There is a lot of brightness missing and um, I can explain it uh, like this. So we have set up our Xbox uh, with a 10 person pattern to the maximum um, peak brightness, okay? So that means um, this is not a 10 person pattern, this one. This is maybe two person or, or even less. So, but the problem is we told the, the Xbox, hey, our maximum brightness is this. And we used a 10 person pattern, which is of course limiting already the capability of the screen. Because um, I think this around is not a problem for the screen at all. This is a problem because uh, the screen likes to display the maximum uh, brightness. But we told already the screen, hey, you can't display more than, let's say, 750 candela, whatever, okay? But on a 10 person pattern, of course, if we reduce this to, let's say, 2 person or 1 person, it will be brighter. Maybe not much, but that is the difference, in my opinion. Because on the PC, there is no calibration menu and also no settings and nothing. But we need to consider as soon we turning on HDR on the PC, of course there is a standard profile or whatever activated because otherwise it would not working with HDR. But I have no idea at this very moment what profile we're talking about. Okay, and to confuse you a little bit more. So the PC has no calibration menu, yeah? but. Again, there must be something loaded in the background. When you turn on HDR, there must be a profile loaded in the background. And maybe, maybe this profile is telling uh, the game at the moment, hey, I can display 1000 candela or 4000 candela or 4000 nits or 1000 nits. Um, and this can be the difference, you know, because now the TV knows or the game knows I can display this in 1000 candela and I will try to do it and of course, because this is not limited to 750 or whatever we did on the Xbox, it will display this probably with 50 or 100 candela more. Probably, because the TV, of course, the smaller the object is, the brighter it can get, okay? I think the maximum brightness maybe is 800 or whatever, but this can be the difference actually, that this is maybe 50 candela more or 100 candela more. I haven't measured it to be very honest, but I can clearly see that this is uh, a difference, okay? So there is no doubt at all. This is, yeah, much darker, much, much darker and not just, so it's very hard to compare, of course, the other thing because I think this is very, very similar, but uh, the clouds also on the top, I'm very sure it, it, they are a little bit brighter a little bit brighter it's very hard that the bigger the or the, the, the bigger the objects is the the, the closer are uh, there together because at some point of course the limitation from the tv kicks in the abl the automatic brightness limiter of course but at this very moment i'm very very sure the pc version is in terms of the yeah spectacular highlights a little bit brighter than the xbox version Okay, so let's finish this video here because there's not much more to show, to be very honest. Um, my conclusion is that at this very moment, HTHG can't work on the PC. Can't because there's no calibration menu, full stop. Because to get, or again, this is very hard to explain because HTHG again is not what we're looking for. HTHG is an option on the TV. And we are using this option to calibrate our Xbox, okay? But we don't have any option like this for the PC. So even with changing this to HGHG, we're still using some settings on the PC, which I'm not aware of, okay? So if you know what actually the standard HDR settings are on Windows 10 in the latest build is, just put it in a comment because it's very uh, yeah, interesting to understand. And 
also maybe maybe some of the bigger channel can um, yeah start digging into this as well with uh, the better equipment because I don't have any equipment here. Maybe HDTV can do some uh, testing in terms of maximum brightness or whatever. Uh, because in my opinion it is really like it is, um, the PC version is brighter. But that again, that doesn't mean it's right. You know, because we did our calibration on the Xbox, okay? And also what I have to say in terms of the calibration, um, we using this 10 percent pattern, I'm not even sure if this is the best way to do it. Because as you see, this object is much smaller than the 10 percent pattern. And of course, uh, yeah, it will not add up at the end in my opinion. You know what I mean? If you're using a pattern like this to calibrate something and then you like to show something like this, that's not the same, okay? Because we're limiting already the brightness. But anyway, that's my opinion and if I'm wrong in something, if I explain something wrong, just put it in the comments, please, in a normal manner, okay? I don't like to have any any uh, yeah bad or bad dis discussions in my comment section. But I really like to understand this because, again, in my opinion, at this very moment, don't go. Which is it? Xbox. Uh, because at the moment, I don't think that actually the PC is working with a HGI HGIG compatible display, okay? And we will see more of those TVs in the future, not just from LG. It's uh, hopefully it will come from uh, Samsung, Panasonic, and whatsoever. You know, more and more and more. And hopefully, all, also more developer will support this feature because at the end, and I proved this in my other video to um, the HDR analyze video to Outriders, HGHG with the right settings gives you a better HDR uh, picture, in my opinion, or what I have seen on the TV. Okay. So, but again, I think that's enough for this video. Um, not going to play this game because in my opinion, it's just the average game, but that's also a different story. So again, put your opinion in the, or all the information what you have in the comment section, I would much appreciate it. And of course I will dig also a little bit deeper and try to understand what's going on. And if you're new to my channel, you know the drill, subscribe now, I would much appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time, bye.